Hi, I'm Don Badem from SampleLibraryReview.com. I'm very excited today. We're taking a look at Street Percussion NYC from Big Fish Audio. This library just came out a couple days ago. Um, I'm very happy to be checking it out. It is a four gigabyte library. You have got a couple different options for the review here. I'm going to be checking out the contact version. You need the full version of contact 5.5.2 to run the instrument. If you're running with contact, there are uh, another option available. You get it as Apple loops, Rex files, wave files, RMX and acid. The collection is made from sampling unconventional street drums in the breakbeat style. The library comes with over 2,100 different loops. If you want to hear um, all of the, the previews of all 26 of these construction kits, that's about eight minutes into the video. Uh, skip through that if you don't want to hear me talk about the library so much, although I do have some insights and opinions if you'd like to hear those. The main folders are structured so that you've got uh, drum hits menus. You've got buckets and small drums. metals and woods. And there's a folder for just the, uh, I guess, drum kits, drum kit A and drum kit B. Library also comes with kit combos. For both drums. and percussion. It's basically a pretty big variety, over 2,100 different loops. Basically they're in, originally recorded at different tempos. You can use them as construction kits uh, and they do sync to your host DAW tempo. Now the drums menu folder contains each of the loops separated by the instrument. So you've got access to all of the drums safe that's performed by the buckets um, in the different tempos for each of the different construction kits all in one instrument. This could be pretty handy. You got all the buckets, buckets with sticks, the drum kit loops, the metals, the mixed percussion, the pipes, small drums and uh, woods as well. Again, all separated. Now the library does also contain each of the loops in those construction kits as separate sliced loops. This is a part that I think is kind of cool. If you really dig the feel and the groove of some of these, you're able to do some manipulation with the KLI engine. Uh, you know, you can control a whole bunch of parameters. Also gives you the ability to go into a stutter mode to play forwards, backwards, skip around from the, where you left off last.
And you're also able to drag right from inside the interface of the instrument to pull it in, out as a MIDI file into your DAW. I'll be sure to include the video of um, getting to know the KLI engine if you're unfamiliar with it. For the pros, uh, I'm going to say, you know, the large collection of loops in this street percussion style, they do sound really good. It's really well recorded and I love the feel that they get. They really have faithfully captured that street performer kind of sound. Um, I've always been intrigued with street performers. I've traveled quite a few but different places around the world and I've always thought, oh, it'd be awesome to just do a whole bunch of recordings of street musicians. Uh, here they've just captured it in New York City, which leads me to believe that there may be more street percussion uh, in the works down the line. The slice loops allow for customization um, in ways that will really let you take the feel of these loops and kind of, you know, take a beat out, change some of the pitch, uh, even whack it out pretty far with some of the other parameters. This is the KLI engine provides a variety of effects. I didn't really get into them. Another big pro is it's available for so many formats. Uh, personally, I probably would have loved to gotten it as a contact instrument and as the Rex files. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like you, you either get the choice of uh, one or the other. The cons, um, you know, for a percussion instrument, the hits are limited to two velocity layers, which is fine if you're playing kind of full out street percussion styles. However, if you wanted to use these uh, much more dynamically, you are going to have to play around with um, some of your dynamics and you're still not going to get the kind of velocity difference you would have from a much softer hit. Uh, the other con here with the contact library that I checked out, I don't feel like it's organized in the most manageable way going into it. I wasn't really sure what I was getting. No, I dig in and have to kind of figure it out. The kit combos, you know, that's cool, but they usually just call these construction kits and maybe I'm missing something. I hope this gives you a little better insight into Street Percussion NYC from Big Fish Audio. It's available for $99.95. I'll include links in the description below. <laughs>